Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. There's a lot of the old switcheroo going on in Rome right now, a lot of double talk and self-contradiction. It seems the god of surprises only ever has surprises for faithful believing Catholics. The more or less unbelieving Catholics, meh, not so much. No surprises for them. For example, let's talk about this clash of cultures or world views which is taking center stage at the Vatican. It's kind of a class warfare being perpetrated, lifted right out of Saul Alinsky, his commie-type methods. The party of death here in the U.S. is extremely adept at this. It's actually their bread and butter, wage class warfare. Well, the same principles are flying around the Eternal City these days as well. When it comes to the Amazonian culture, it is presented as this nearly perfect, sacrosanct, ancestral wisdom, millennia old people of the forest culture that must be respected at all costs, even the cost of the faith, apparently. Yet jump just one continent to the north, and the culture of America is spoken of with zero respect, greed and hyper-capitalism producing massive changes in the environment that requires less people to be born, to reduce carbon emissions, blah, blah, you hear it nonstop. Translation, America, bad. Amazon, ideal. So much so, in fact, that the Pope said he's kind of down with Americans attacking him. It's sort of an honor. He welcomes it. America is in need of profound change. The Amazonians? Eh, not so much. Now, the issue isn't that America doesn't need profound change. Of course it does. There's much truth in the view that greed and self-centeredness is prevalent in the United States. The problem is that America is singled out by this pontificate as the great Satan, and virtually any other and every other civilization or culture is better. It's okay to blast America, but don't dare speak any word at all against the culture of the peoples of the forest. All hail Pachamama and their fertility goddesses, whatever. This synod, with its complete lack of clarity, seeming love for confusion, endless diatribes about ecological, theological integration with trees and Mother Earth, has become a caricature. People running around Rome adorned in feathers and face paint, liberal nuns seeing the opportunity to advance their desire to actually be men, Marxist cardinals with no faith rambling on about faith. The whole thing is a disgusting comedy. All the while, anything previous is mocked and marginalized, from traditional clerical clothes to a culture which has lifted more people out of poverty than the entire history of mankind, to the notion that we need to actually convert people to the Catholic faith. Bottom line, when liberals or commie Catholic clergy start droning on about how all cultures must be respected and how we all are equal and none is superior to another, know that what they really mean is not all cultures must be respected and that there are not all equal and some are superior to others. This is the point of the convergence on the left between theological perverts and political perverts. They see America as the great roadblock to their goals for advancing globalism, and they see actual Catholicism as part of that giant roadblock. So the U.S. must be attacked and shamed, while any and all other cultures must be praised and elevated. Likewise, any version of Catholicism must be venerated and celebrated and elevated, except traditional Catholicism. Homo Catholicism, corrupt Catholicism, clericalist Catholicism, doesn't matter. They're all good, just don't dare put on a cassock. From the point of view of the communist Catholics ruling in the Vatican today, America and traditional Catholicism are essentially the same thing. Two systems who do believe exceptionalism as it applies in their respective worlds. And the major push for a restoration of the faith the actual, honest-to-God, bare-knuckle faith of our fathers crush the diabolical underfoot Catholicism is all coming from American Catholics. It's the only game in town, so to speak. Faithful Catholics are all over the world looking at American Catholicism as the great hope. It's why the Pope and various cardinals and so forth are constantly belittling either America or traditional Catholicism or both. It's why sitting in the Vatican press hall these days, so much leeway had been given to the liberal, anti-American, anti-traditional Catholicism crowd of reporters. After some direct complaints that seems to have modified to a degree, 
with a greater share of reporters being called on for questions. We'll monitor to see if that continues. The underlying issue is pretty simple here. For decades, in American politics and in Catholic theological circles, the liberal commie socialist bloc did a very, very good job of stealthily inserting itself into all aspects of the given scene and quietly gained control. Now that it has been exposed just how much control they have clandestinely seized and the direct fight against them has begun, well, they don't like it. The same dynamic is driving Trump derangement syndrome here in the U.S. His 2016 Make America Great Again slogan was like nails on a chalkboard to political liberals, and traditional Catholics pushed to make the church great again may as well be the screech of demons to commie Catholics, that is, if they actually believed that there are such things as demons. This is what's hidden behind all the talk of enculturation, bringing the Amazonian culture into the church, making the church have an Amazonian face. Don't believe it, it's a load of hogwash. As long as the church doesn't have the face of the Bride of Christ, they don't care what face it is. The Amazonian face is just the most useful tool in the box right now. There is a superior religion, the most superior, not because of the people who profess it, but because of who established it. When it comes down to enculturating Pachamama into the church, the old gal can just take a hike. God love you. I'm Michael Boris.